Welcome back. It's planting season for New York farmers, and while new tariffs have helped some industries, it's put a strain on others. That second group is concerned about recent tweets from President Trump about tariffs. James Gilbert went to the Finger Lakes today to talk to a farmer who might see an impact and is worried. 1,700 acres of farmland in Penyan belong to the Martins family, farmers that have felt a pinch from the new tariffs. Farmers are really under severe stress. Klaus Martin says steel tariffs have inspired other countries like China to enact tariffs of their own on U.S. farm goods. That's only helped the competition. And there was a huge increase in the plantings of soybeans in our competitors' uh, land. So that as we, even if this were fixed right now, um, the soybean market has been damaged probably for a generation. The farm's ability to grow many different types of crops have helped them be resilient to these tariffs. Klaus's son, Peter, is taking over farm operations and said growing edible beans helps diversify. They're, they're difficult to grow, uh, but they are a, uh, a higher value crop. They have the advantage of more markets. Other farmers just don't and a lower demand has led those other farmers to start liquidating. Well-established farms that have been in the area for generations uh, are selling out. The Martins continue to invest in their farm with the hopes of passing it down to future generations. But stronger tariffs for these farmers could mean a struggle that could last. James Gilbert, News 8. All right, thank you, James. Then Martin's Farm is also focusing on renewable buildings using solar and geothermal energy to reduce their footprint and to keep that farm sustainable for generations to come.